In a week or so, the $109 million plan to expand the Edgewater Hotel could look a lot different. The developer is now working on possible design changes as he reaches out to a downtown neighborhood group that's been critical of the plan. News 3's Linda Eggert has more on the potential for compromise here, Linda. Eric and Susan, both the developer of the Hamas Company and Capital Neighborhoods Incorporated, or CNI, say they're hopeful their differences can be ironed out. But as the CNI president says, the devil's in the details, and those are a week or more away. Hamas Company President Bob Dunn says he's canceled his part of tomorrow's Urban Design Commission meeting to step back and let his design team try to resolve problems surrounding the $109 million project. The existing plan at the end of Langdon Street adds public terraces and a grand staircase to Lake Mendota, but it would also erect an 11-story tower in a historic district, violating a 50-foot height limit. So on that key issue, how far will each side give? Dunn says his team is tackling the issue by trying to mitigate the tower's height. There are a lot of things that you can do, that you do on any tall structure to create setbacks, to alter the, the facade pattern of the building, things that hopefully take a tall building and make it seem less tall. But uh, until we get through that design study, it's hard to answer that question. The message we've gotten so far from the developer is that to make it economically feasible, it needs to be the height that it is right now. Um, there's been talk of knocking off the penthouse at the top, and uh, it's the start of lowering it, but it's not nearly down to the 50-foot limit. Still, CNI President Adam Plotkin calls the new dialogue effort by Hamas a good start, and he's hoping they'll find resolution. Needless to say, Dunn feels the same way. He's hoping a new design will spark compromise from critics and maybe even create a better project. One problem area being tackled is the Langdon Street entrance area for hotel vehicles. We're told a redesign might drop that down 20 feet, giving the public an even greater view of the lake from Langdon Street than it has right now. We'll see when the plans come out. We'll continue to follow that one. Linda Egger reporting that. Linda, thank you very much. You're welcome.